When I first started watching this anime, I thought this jump was a banger. The first two to three episodes of this anime was freaking fire. It hyped me up for the rest of the season. At first, I didn't know who the author of this anime was because I did hear something about, you know, the author making an assassin anime, but that completely flew over my head, you know, weeks later when I actually first started watching this anime. I don't like to judge people's animes or like their upcoming things based on their past actions or past creations but obviously there's always gonna be some type of thing that connects one enemy to another like the anime style fan service things like that and the one thing that homie brought from his last anime over to this one is um in interesting to, to say the least now, if you guys do not know the anime i'm talking about it's probably in the title it's just the world's finest assassin it's something like that i freaking forgot the name of it how did i forget the name of it the world's finest assassin gets reincarnated in another world as the aristocrat what the freak i'm i'm dumb okay guys i'm dumb that's the anime i'm talking about but most of you guys probably know who created this anime if you guys are watching this video because you guys probably have already watched this anime but the author of this anime is the person that made redo of healer yeah like i said i don't like to judge future accomplishments and future creations based on their past actions or accomplishments you know what i mean and this anime started off so strong i thought this zone was a banger you know like first two to three episodes episodes but and then the anime started getting extremely extremely weird like dog almost like instantly the vibe that this anime gives gives almost the exact same type of vibe that redo of healer gives obviously this anime isn't like bad but just some of the things that homie added in here was just honestly unnecessary i had no problems with the main character other than like the fact to where he started acting really strange you know what i mean like i get his job was to recruit people to assassinate the hero but then at some points he was just straight up just manipulative you know like i mean that's the entire point you know he, he's supposed to you know use people but it gave the same vibe as redo of healer I, I don't know if people were getting the same type of vibe as me he was like very manipulative and very controlling over the chicks that are you know in the store like the main chicks it was really weird the type of loyalty that they had to him he really gave off like the redo of healers um main character vibe at some point when he was controlling these chicks and it was just like yo bro like relax dog i really did not like the vibe that he was giving and it was really weird i don't know if this was just me there's just some things that you don't need to add to things and i feel as if the creator of redo and of course this anime i feel as if he just can't do without adding it it, it rhymes with grape you know unconsensual yeah that stuff every single time i say you know that that's what i'm referencing to yeah he added that into this anime too like obviously the creator of redo you think that it's not gonna be in like almost every single anime or manga that he writes of course it's gonna be in it because people that like put things like this into anime or just things like that have an obsession with it i don't know it's really weird i know there's gonna be those where like it's just a fictional character like they're not real people and if you think like it's wrong then like you're just sensitive like no you're weird you're weird i've seen multiple youtubers be like oh well i'm not gonna judge you everybody can like their own thing no no that's not how it works that's like saying what hitler did was okay because he thought it was okay no no things are just inherently wrong okay and they just don't need to be added and yes it is a fictional character it didn't happen but it's still disgusting and weird to, to have to add into stories so I'm not going to be one of those YouTubers that are going to be like, no, what, whatever floats your boat. No, you're weird. That's weird. Stop it. It's not okay. And it wasn't even the fact that he added it in, right? Stories can have it in like Berserk, you know, that that jump was powerful. This author just throws, you know, in just to throw it in. Like there's emptiness in it. Like he, it feels as if he just has to add it into his stories. And it, and it wasn't even just like that he added it. It was to literal children, legit children that he, that, like, what? He added these group of, like, poor chicks, you know, just working on the street. Like, wholesome work, right? Then out of nowhere, they get captured. And then literally every single one of these young girls, other than two of them, one because she was, like, extremely young, freaking, like, six, seven. I don't even know how old she was. And, like, this, this other chick. Only two of them ended up not having to go through that. Bro, like, what's wrong with your mind, bro? Like, why, why you messed up? You don't need to add this into a story. Like, you don't need to... Like, this was just the main problem that I had with it. It just gave too much vibes 
of redo of healer into this anime like i don't know they're the main character at some points acted like the character from redo very manipulative controlling of the females the females were just blindly just willing to to serve him it was just not good you're really gonna have to add that for le legit children bro like it, it, like if it had like purpose in the story it would make sense but like they just threw that in to happen to the children and then yeah when i use serve me at my shop nothing else about the characters like literally he could have wrote these characters without that traumatizing past and he just helps the what blue haired chick and then she's loyal to him that could have happened like there's no need to add that but of course people that add elements like this into stories like obsessively is, is just ingrained into their mind and they always have to put it in after editing the audio i can see how people might take this as me saying like you can't add this topic into a story and make it compelling that's not what i'm saying you can make a good story with this topic you know ingrained into you know the, the, the story and the plot but this author and authors like this that just mind-numbingly and continuously just places this topic into their anime for no reason isn't good. This did nothing for the characters. And it literally was not brought up after that one point. It was just thrown into there. It was just empty character experiences that were just thrown into these characters. It was just not needed. Literally, the author threw this in because he wanted to. That's literally all it was. And yes, yeah, you know, it is his own story. He can add whatever he 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 wants to. But but yet again, like it was just very unnecessary to be thrown in. That's all I'm trying to say. I went on a freaking rant. This was the entire point of this video after me completing this entire series. It wasn't bad, right? Like this anime isn't bad. But, bro, like, the author is wildin', like, relax with some things, bro. Like, you don't need to be, at, like, adding things like this into, like, stories. Like, it's just not making it any better. You're just making it worse. Like, what are you doing, bro? Yet again, there's gonna be people that are gonna, you know, cover for the author for this, saying, oh, it's a fictional character, it's his story. Shut up. I don't care. Some things just don't need to be added, especially like that element. It happened for no reason. Nothing to gain from it. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this rant video. Go down there, smack the like button, please subscribe for more anime content. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.